Okay, so I got sent a message recently by Asir from phoenixlinux.com uh, and he wanted me to have a look at his operating system uh, which is based on XFCE and uh, this is a really interesting one. So if I click on Phoenix and I type Phoenix, which is the login, here we go. So it's a really nice looking desktop. There are loads of things going on on here. Uh, he's really been experimenting with all sorts of themes and transitions and, and loads and loads going on. Marge Simpson down the bottom here uh, running along. Uh, and if we go along the dock, you can see it all goes in flames and things. Loads of things going on uh, with uh, these overlays. So we've got the clock overlay and we've got uh, all sorts of information about CPU. Uh, and RAM. So if you like to uh, play around with themes uh, and you like to have uh, lots of things going on, this is great. Uh, I really like the uh, file manager and the look of it. Uh, it looks really nice uh, and really crisp. Now, he sent me several messages um, and uh, his first language isn't English and so they've been very long messages and they've been translated and, it, and not everything was easy to, to understand but uh, he basically wants uh, people to know about his operating system and, and what he's been doing, that he's taken inspiration from various different people uh, and he, wants, he was, he was kind of concerned that people are going to think he's been copying but I, this is why I've started off with this one because this does look a bit different and uh, there's, some, there's some nice things about it. Now if I press, uh, if I click on here, comp is start. Okay, it looks like nothing much has changed. But if I go up to the left hand corner, you can see that it switches between desktops. So if I was to launch something, uh, so say for instance, oh, let's just launch things from the dock. So if I do writer, go up to the top, you can see writer is coming up in this one. If I double click on this one and uh, call up calculator and then if I go up to the top and double click in this one and what else have we got here show desktop terminal oh I'm clicking on the character now there you go terminal and as you can see if you drag things around it's got this weird sort of uh, flowy effect but this is not overclocked um, and I'm just running it on my standard 4 gig pi uh, and everything does feel really quite snappy considering loads of things are going on so I can go back to these desktops but what's what's even more interesting if, if I press uh, control and alt and then drag I can do this <laughs> And he's got other videos on, on various different effects and things he does, but it's like a cube of all your four desktops. And you can see that the uh, terminal is, you can see it's proud from it. It's almost like a sort of full on 3D effect. I love it. It's just something, something really, I haven't seen this before. And uh, it does look really nice. There's loads and loads in here and I haven't really got time to go fully through it. So what I'll do is just sort of flick through. Uh, you can see there's main apps here. So if we go to settings, you can see there's so many things been installed here and the good thing about this is you can you can pick and choose and you can see what's available and what's possible on the Pi uh, and I didn't know a load of these things were on there so development education games there's uh, so what we've got Minecraft Pi Steam Link various different things in there graphics a lot in the graphics image magic gnome paint uh, internet so we've got chromium media edition and chromium web browser firefox is in there as well multimedia loads in i mean there's how much is this 19.1 gig uh, i'll go to his website in a second um, and show you various different things on there oh gpart is in there which is a good program i like to use snap store so let's pr press control R again and let's Bin this around, so you left click Control Alt, and while you're holding Control and Alt, you just left click. But I, I'm surprised it does, it does feel really responsive, uh, and I'm surprised considering it's doing so much non-overclocked that it feels as responsive as it does. So it's it's pretty well optimized XFCE, and he does all sorts of things behind the scenes on it, and it, and he was trying to explain to me in the emails, but it because the translation isn't brilliant, it's it's very hard to kind of work out all the changes and what he wants me to, to communicate. So what I thought was better to do was just to point you in the direction of his website and uh, 
get you to have a look. Here we go, so I've got Google to translate the page uh, and you can see he's played around with themes uh, with Windows and uh, Mac OS and so on. And if you scroll right down to the bottom, that's where the downloads are. And he did work on a PC version, um, but he's, I think he's mainly into Linux, uh, was the gist I got from the conversation. So, uh, and he's got a YouTube channel which is linked in here. So if you want to see some of his demos of some of the other things that he shows, uh, and an explanation of why. So there's the download for the PC. Ah, here we are, download Raspberry version. And he looks like he keeps changing it. Looks like he wants to get some feedback of what people like and don't like to sort of, uh, you know, make the operating system into something that, that could get very popular. And I can see that, you know, with all the things that he's added, uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, what people think. So I definitely recommend um, downloading it. it, it is, uh, it's a really interesting system to try. There's, as I say, there's loads in here, loads going on. And, uh, and I just, I, I really like this theme of all of them because, so if I, if I go into, uh, what's the best way to log out? I think this was the best way to log out. Uh, log out. There's definitely a lot going on and uh, you know I could spend a long time going through every little bit but uh, I think it's nice to have a look at things like this and try it yourself and, and so what's number seven? Let's try that. So Phoenix again is the login. Oh here we go. So I guess this is probably a Windows 7 yeah it's going to be Windows 7 style. There you go. So start bar and everything is changed there. Chromium Media Edition, Firefox. Yeah, this is a, a quite a nice layout. If you like Windows 7, it's, uh, you can see it works very well. And, it's, and again, it's nice and snappy. So what happens if I go, so that comp is start, does it work in every operating system? So if I go up to the top, yeah, it does. So if I was to now press Control and Alt and drag it, yeah, I do get that 3D cube with the sort of Windows 7 theme. <laughs> and it look how responsive it. I'm you know I'm moving my finger around really fast on the mouse pad, and it is very responsive. I do like that. Uh, right, so let's go to log out again. So log out. So let's try this one. So this has got an Ubuntu feel to it. So I guess that's all my apps. And it was Compiz, Compiz Start. So Control Alt. Yeah, and there's my, <laughs> well look, we got these weird, is that on the other ones? The weird little stones dropping down or whatever they are. I just love to play around with it. Uh, here we are, here's Log Out. So log out of that one. So let's try the Windows 10 one and have a look at that. Here we go. We've got a nice uh, sort of smoky Windows 10 background there. Yeah, looks pretty decent and seems to work pretty snappy. So let's get these effects on. There you go. So I do like that. Control Alt. Oh, oh, we've got something different here. We've got fish. <laughs> Amazing. So if you like if you like playing around with different operating systems uh, and just to see what different themes and things you can apply, uh, this is definitely worth having a look at. Uh, he wants to collaborate with other people, I think, from from the uh, from the message he's been sent to me. Uh, but he's also got various th different things uh, he's working on, but he doesn't want me to announce any of it yet. So I just wanted uh, to get it out there. Obviously, you'll have his website. You can contact him through there if you've got any ideas or anything like that. So leave comments uh, as to what you think could be changed or what direction you'd like to see this go in, but uh, I think it's pretty impressive really. Um, there's obviously a lot of work and doing lots of different themes, so maybe uh, if he concentrates on just one theme and uh, really hones it down and maybe doesn't put quite as much in, although that's part of the excitement I've got is that there's loads here to try and play around with, but uh, one lovely clean theme with uh, with some of these transitions, uh, I think I think is something I could use. I, I do like the, what's going on. Oh, I like the settings. So here's XP, and it's got like a watercolor background to it. Uh, and let's try the start menu. 
yeah again seems to seems to work pretty well okay so and this is windows 95 okay so as i said before i'll put a link to the website and the youtube channel for fenix linux uh, it is uh, I, i'm very impressed there's lots going on and uh, he says there's got some things that he's working on in the future so watch this space okay thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe